This video is presented by the Moffitt Cancer Center Rehabilitation Services Department. Movement helps our blood circulate throughout the body. When we move, our skin stretches. This also stretches the blood and lymph vessels that lie right under our skin. By stretching these vessels open, fluid moves through them and more easily back to the heart. This keeps fluid from staying in our arms or legs to cause swelling. Any exercise helps fluid move, but the movement shown in this video stretch the skin in a pattern which helps lymph fluid travel from our arms and legs back to our heart. Once you've learned these movements, you can make them part of your daily routine to reduce swelling. Here are some helpful tips before we get started. Each movement is done slowly, count to eight, and repeated two to four times. Listening to your favorite music may help you focus as you do the exercises. Deep breathing. Let's start with deep breathing to relax our vessels and help fluid move back to our heart. Breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. Work up to being able to inhale and exhale for a count of eight. Bubbles or other toys are a fun way to encourage deep breathing, or you can just repeat a deep breath in and out for five to six times. Do this for two to three minutes. Take your time between breaths so you don't get dizzy. Head tilts. Follow along as we go through the movements. Bring your chin down to your chest, then slowly return to looking forward. Tilt your head to one side, then return to the center. Tilt your head to the other side, return to the center. Repeat by tilting your head forward, then once to each side. Head turns. Look over one shoulder. Turn your head as if you're scanning the room and end up looking over your other shoulder. Repeat the movement. You end up looking over the shoulder where you started. Shoulder shrugs. Put your fingertips on your shoulders. Move your elbows forward, up, back, and down as if you're drawing a circle with your elbow. Remember to only move in a comfortable range. Repeat one more time. Tree hugs. Take a deep breath in as you open your arms out by your sides. Stick your chest out. As you breathe out, bring your arms forward and touch your fingertips in front of you. This will also round your back. Repeat one more time. Side reach. Reach to one side as if you can't quite reach the last can on the shelf. Once you stretch as far as you can, slowly straighten back up. Reach to the other side. Slowly return to sitting or standing straight. Repeat this stretch once more to each side. Blowing out birthday candles. Pretend you are blowing out the candles on your birthday cake. Take a deep breath in, opening your chest, then blow out the candles as you exhale. Do this a second time.
plie. Place your fingers together and bring your arms forward. Take a big breath in as you reach overhead as comfortable. Turn your palms up towards the ceiling. Exhale slowly as your arms come down by your sides. Do a second time. Large arm circles. Raise one arm forward, up to the ceiling, then down and back. Do this two times. Repeat with your other arm, then reverse this movement twice with each arm. Move your first arm away from your side, up to the ceiling, then across your chest and down. Do this twice. Repeat with the other arm. Move your first arm across your chest, up to the ceiling, and down by your side. Do this twice. Repeat with your other arm. Marching. Slowly lift one foot up as you count to four, then slowly lower that foot back to the floor to a count of four. Do this four times in a row on the same side. Repeat to the other side. Neck half circles. The last movement is a neck stretch. Look over one shoulder, then lower your chin. Draw a half circle on the front of your chest then look up over the opposite shoulder. Repeat this back to the side you started from. This completes the sequence. Remember, each time you do these movements, in this order, you stretch your lymphatics open and help fluid move more easily from your body back to your heart. These movements should be done slowly. You may sit or stand near a chair for balance. Do once a day. This is a great warm up for more intense activity. Always remember, these movements should never be painful and should be fun to do. So adjust any movement that causes pain. If you have any questions, please contact the Moffitt Cancer Center Rehabilitation Services Department.